NBC 5 News first told you earlier this month about the pro-life protesters who some say are going too far. They're accused of showing offensive images of aborted fetuses and acting aggressively. The group says they're looking to start a conversation. NBC 5's Miles Federici spoke to the group today as they plan to participate in Boatnik festivities. He's live with our top story. Miles. Craig, Kristen, Boatnik wants to cater a fun, family-friendly atmosphere for thousands of people to come and enjoy. But in light of the recent graphic images of dead fetuses at public events, discussion is now on how they can keep a family-friendly environment without infringing on the First Amendment. We've dealt with this challenge before, and it's, and it's, it's tough. At recent public events in Grants Pass, protesters showing photos of dead fetuses have drawn concern from local businesses. You know, we discussed it with our, our legal staff and to how to, ha how to handle it. And it's a, you know, it's, a, it's a tough situation. The same group flying those images plan on being at Boatnik this weekend. That's what we're, we're about is changing their mind. Uh, and part of that, the start of that is those graphic images and they see those and they go, oh, that's horrible. And they either get mad, uh, which is most of the case, or other times they go, oh, that's terrible. President John Clement of the RV Salt Shakers says their group doesn't plan on marching in the Boatnik parade. He says a similar Roseburg group will do that. However, active club president Eric Hippler, who plans Boatnik, says they will refuse any parade entries that aren't family friendly. I respect that they want to get their views out, but they should have the respect to um, of what our, our program's about. In an effort to not infringe on any free speech, Boatnik will provide a free speech area at Riverside Park where the carnival is. We're going to keep our booth the way we always do it, where we have, uh, we don't have signs like this up, but we don't have, certainly don't have the graphic abortion signs, but we'll bring them out to the, quote, free speech, unquote, area over here. Hippler admits the park is city property and open for anyone to preach their views. It can be difficult to oversee everything that happens, but they'll try their best to make sure everyone has a good time. Well, things like this are going to happen every year, and we just um, ha have to deal with it and and try to nip it in the bud before before it happens. The carnival at Boatnik is set to begin this Thursday evening. The parade will begin on Saturday at 10 a.m. Live in studio, Miles Luigi, NBC5 News. Miles, thanks. Some business owners are so fed up with the first Friday protesting, they've asked the city to get involved. According to city councilors, both businesses and the protesters spoke at last Wednesday's city council meeting. Since it was during the public hearing segment, no discussion or decision was made. Councilors say it's a sensitive subject that also involves freedom of speech. While no action is planned, councilors may consider addressing the subject in the future.